Kratos spent nearly a thousand years dimension hopping between God of War 3 and 4. You see, throughout God of War Ragnarok, you can actually find poems written by the Norse god Kvasir. In mythology, Kvasir was a poet that traveled the Nine Realms and then wrote about his adventures. And it looks like he's doing the same thing in the Sony-verse. All the poems in Ragnarok refer to other Sony properties, like Ratchet and Clank, The Last of Us, even MLB The Show. Seems like the new Nine Realms are just Sony's premium IP. So then, where does Kratos fit into all this? Well, in God of War, you can actually find the amulet of Kvasir, which, as you might expect, allows you to shift dimensions. And in Ragnarok, we get this particular boat conversation. I heard you did battle with beasts, scoundrels, princesses, the undead, automatons, and history's greatest musician. I would not speak of this. He's referring, of course, to PlayStation All-Stars, Sony's Smash Brothers clone, which means that Kwasir wasn't the only one who was jumping between worlds. Except, you know, Kratos doesn't really want to talk about it because have you ever played that game? Honestly, I wouldn't either. Anyway, that line shows that not only did he visit other game worlds, but also that 